TZ. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, and for today's vlog, I'm going to show you how to reformat your system. Okay, this is uh, this unit, guys. Kahapon na siya ng problema, uh, nag, nag shut down siya, and then nag freeze, and then uh, nag garbage display siya. So uh, upon checking, okay naman yung cooling system niya. So hindi naman siya ganun ka kadumi yung aking uh, inside the USPU fan. So I did everything. Uh, upon checking, nagkaroon siya ng uh, uh, Windows system corruption. So nakorrupt na yung Windows niya. So I have to reformat it. Okay? Uh, guys, uh, ang tip ko lang no, sa pag-reformat ng uh, hard disk. Okay, uh, or just a reminder, just uh, before you reformat your hard disk, be sure na na-recover na niyo yung mga data or important documents or files, okay, before uh, doing the reformatting. Uh, so, I have it here, my, my operating system, CD, this, this Windows 7, I'm still using this Windows 7 professional. I don't have uh, the installer of Windows 8 and uh, Enaga, so no choice ako hindi gamitin itong aking uh, Windows 7. And of course, uh, since uh, Windows 7 ang aking gagamitin, so I have to install the drivers manually. So I have the disk of my my motherboard. I'm using MSI motherboard, so I have the disk. So after the installation of uh, this uh, Windows operating system, I have to install the drivers, of course, okay? So, you guys, uh, I don't have the the optical drive of this system, so I have to use my external DVD. So this is it, my external DVD. So I have to put this one, uh, this this operating system, this this operating system. Okay. So Corona, this, this, this. <laughs> Alright. So start tayo, no? Uh, no. So sana magguide ko kayo ng maayos, and then. Uh, Ayun nga, so masisave nyo yung uh, like 500 bucks nyo for uh, sending your system to the uh, service center or any repair shop. So magkano rin ang magkasa nyo pag pina-check nyo and then uh, pina-reformat nyo ang inyong system. So by just watching my video, uh, magagawa ninyo by, by yourself. Okay, just... Uh, Okay, let's do it now. Okay guys, and then uh, dyan lang kayo, and then I'm going to show you how to uh, format this system. Okay, yan. So guys, ito. Papasok ko itong uh, installer natin ng Windows. Okay. Since I don't have the optical drive, meron akong external na DVD. Okay, so naka connection to sa USB niya. So this is my hard disk, okay? And then uh, So para makabot tayo, guys, dito sa sa ating optical drive since na hindi na tayo magbubot dito sa ating hard disk kasi kasi ano, uh, i-reformat na nga natin siya, no? So, paano ba natin i- ano ba dapat natin i-press, okay? Para makapag-boot dito sa may optical drive natin, natin uh, DVD, external, okay? <coughs> so, if you're using a uh, desktop, usually, uh, ano lang, delete lang delete lang ang ating ipipress simultaneously okay this delete pagka on mo we have to press this one okay unahan na pwede nating pagkabukas pa lang nung nang ano nang uh, display i-click na natin to nang ilang beses until the ano yung bios so mag appear okay so i'm going to switch it on uh, to the on niya Ayan. Then I'm going to press this delete. Ayan. 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 Nakalagay dyan. Oh. Press delete. Dun sa kanyang ano. Oh, to run BIOS. Okay. But if you want to run the, no, to boot menu, 
Okay, you can just press F11. But we have to, ano, muna yung uh, BIOS. I-set up muna natin, okay? So, check natin ito sa my settings. <coughs> check natin yung, ano, uh, itong boot settings natin. Ito yung option din, no? Para hindi mo na kailangan mag-press ng F11 to boot on the, yung selection ng, ano, ng booting, okay? So, in this booting, Pwede natin, ano, yung first option mo na dapat mag-boot is, oh, okay, so ito yung naka-ano talaga, talaga siya sa USB, USB CD-ROM ko. So ito na unang, dito siya unang uh, magbabasa. So if I have the installer of Windows, mag na yung Windows natin dito, okay? Pangalawa yung hard disk natin. Okay, and, uh, Go back to the settings. Check natin no yung uh, advanced settings natin. Dito sa may ano. Uh, what is this? Yung integrated ano niya? Peripherals no? Yung SATA mode niya. SATA mode. There's some options sa SATA mode okay? Ito nga chi. Okay ayan. Uh, if you want to disable IDE mode, yung RAID mode niya. So since no Windows 7 ang ating uh, i-install, nagagamit nila ng operating system, we will, kasi guys, itong uh, sa BIOS ko is naka-disable na yung ano, Windows 8 above. Okay, since no Windows 7 ang ating i-install, ito ang aking pipili ng app. Archie mode niya. Archie mode and then press uh, F10. Pwede mo rin dito sa, ano, sa settings niya. Save and exit. Pwede rin dito. Or just simply press F10. So pag pinress ko yung F10. Ayan. Yan ang lalabas. Okay. Save configurations and reset. Okay. Same thing with this uh, save and exit. If you click this save and exit. Okay. Yeah, save changes. Okay. Ayan, save configurations. Ayan, tatang yung save configuration. So you, you have to choose this. Yes. Okay. So in this one, we'll start. Yeah, no, kana ng kusa. We'll start na natin. Okay, save configuration reset. Yes. Okay, na siya nag-reset kanina. Okay, na nag-reset siya, guys. Ngayon, mapapansin mo, guys, doon sa section sa booting, mauna yung DVD. So, kailangan mag-press mo siya kagad siya, no? Kasi mag siya na to press any key. Okay? Kaya ng kanyang BIOS. So, it will ask you to press any key. Uh, to boot from CD. So, I have pressed uh, enter or any key you can press. Now you know Windows, okay? So it is simple, guys. Na sa pagreformat natin, no? So everything in here in your system in your uh, hard drive will be erased, okay? So isang uh, payo lang kapag kapo may mga important files ka or documents in your hard disk before doing anything or like uh, reformatting, make sure na nakabackup na po yung mga data ninyo o yung mga important uh, files po ninyo. Ano? Kasi kapag ka po nag-reformat uh, na is mawawala na po yun and there's no chance to uh, ah, meron din. No? Pwede, na, pwede, tayong, pwede natin i-recover your yung na delete na data ninyo by using this uh, recovery disk. But that it will take time. No? Uh, maraming, ano, maraming proseso. Okay? Kaya nga, be sure na before you ano, reformat your hard disk, make sure na nabakapan na po ninyo yung inyong system. So, this is it guys. Ito na, yung mga choices, no? Language, okay. Uh, English is a US. Keyboard, okay, just click next. Okay, install now. Okay. So, yan. Setup is starting now. <coughs> so guys, this uh, formatting is, will take time. No, uh, uh, 
Siguro mga ilang minuto din, like maximum maybe 30 minutes. It depends on the on the course. So, because I'm using uh, quad core, so it will not take time. So, ito guys, click nyo itong accept nyo yung ano, the license uh, terms and condition. And then, next, click nyo yung next. And then, this type of installations do you want? Sabi niya, so, so you want to upgrade only? Kasi ang, uh, since ang ginagamit nyo is Windows 7 uh, Professional, so, <coughs> kung gusto natin siyang i-upgrade, or yung ating uh, nilagay na <coughs> installer sa ating DVD is Windows uh, 7 Ultimate, so we can we can uh, click this upgrade for Windows uh, higher, higher, higher OS, yeah. So this costume, okay, install a new copy of Windows, this option not keep your file settings and, and blah blah blah. So this one, we have to use this one, kasi to customize natin. Okay, talang pip natin guys, no? And this option, it will show you the, ano, yung mga hard disk niya, yung partition hard disk niya. So you have to delete this one. Drive. Delete. And also this partition one. Actually, meron siyang Windows, so, uh, nag-run, actually, to before, right? So, dito nag-install yung Windows na, dito sa partition 1, ito yung system niya, bali. So, dito nag-install yung operating system, uh, since nagka-problema siya, and then we're going to reformat this. So, we have to delete also this partition. Okay, delete. Okay. So, mapapansin nyo guys, na uh, meron siyang option dito na next. So, it means, uh, pwede mo nang i-install yung Windows dito sa na pili nating this drive. So right now, unallocated space siya kasi gawa ng hindi pa siya na-reformat. So ito, yung ating games. Uh, if you want to delete this one, you can also delete this one, okay? You can simply click this one and then delete. Okay. Uh, actually, wala nang laman yun. Na-delete ko na dati. So press okay. So now, I'm using actually 500 uh, GB capacity of my hard drive. So, normal na naman yung ganito, yung ganito capacity. It will show you uh, 465 because hindi niya talaga isa show yung exact uh, capacity ng hard drive, yung physical uh, capacity of your hard drive, okay? <coughs> uh, so, okay, uh, guys, kung gusto natin gawa ng partition, we can make it now or just in case na na, na click mo na tong next and it will automatically install the windows so pwedeng system in this drive uh, after installations th there's an also option there meron siyang option there uh, there's a chance also that you can make a partition on it okay by the the process of uh, shrink okay later i'll show you that one so for now i'm not going to uh, make a partition okay or try natin mag partition so that uh, meron kayong idea so now we have to delete this one assuming we need 200 GB on the on uh, partition one you can simply type 200,000 MB okay that's equivalent to 200 uh, GB of hard drive okay So yun na, na partition na siya. So yung partition to niya is 195 and uh, yung allocated uh, space niya is 270. So ito yung uh, allocation uh, natin na isa na partition is for our data backup. Okay? So highlight mo to, itong ating partition 2 na meron siyang 195 capacity and then we have to click this one. Next. Okay, now it's starting Windows installation. Yeah, it's copying Windows files, finding Windows files. Okay, and then uh, it will install the features, installing the updates, and then it will, uh, until it will complete the installation. Okay, this, guy, this uh, you know guys, this uh, will take time, so I have to interrupt this one now. Okay, uh, I mean I'm not going to interrupt this uh, installation. Okay guys, 93% na. 
So it's still expanding Windows files pa siya. So after this, installing features na siya, no? And then to follow na yung installing updates. Until na makomplete yung ano, installation. So, standby pa rin tayo guys, no? Uh, Mamay, papakita ko sa inyo after this. Uh, guys, complete na yung ano, kanina, yung installation, no? Now, setup will continue, no? After this, ano, restart. So, we're almost done. Yan, magbo-boot na siya uli. Now it will boot direct to the Windows na yung ano natin. Hindi na doon sa DVD kanina. Okay, sa so since na-installan natin yung OS niya, doon na siya ngayon magbo-boot sa kanyang ano, system. But still, no, kasi nandun pa yung aking ano yun, uh, disk. And then doon sa settings sa BIOS, uh, yung boot sequence niya is uh, first priority yung ano, uh, DVD drive pa. Now it's starting Windows. We're almost done, guys. Huh? Yeah, and setup is preparing your computer for first use. Yeah. So in here, we're we going to uh, to input the user until we complete this uh, installation. Okay. And then after this, guys. Yeah. You have to type this username, like for example Ellie. I mean, type my name. Okay, and then next. Okay, this password you can uh, skip this one. Just simply click next. Okay, and then uh, you can skip this one. Okay, this is the the product key activation. Skip this one. And ask me later. Okay, we can click next. Hi. Okay. Now this Windows is starting now. It's preparing uh, your desktop. Hey okay, guys. Yeah, the install code is Windows 7 Professional. Yeah. Uh, ganito siya ba? Uh, mga ka-PC, no? Yung looks niya. Ganito siya. So, mapapansin natin nothing on this uh, na, desktop. Only this uh, recycle pin. So, ilalagay natin yung ano. Ibang icon like we have to click this personalize. Okay, change desktop icon. We have to check click this one. We we'll check if we want to put on this network or user files. Not only that one, only this one. And then apply. Yes, okay. And then, mapapansin mo guys, ayan na, computer, network, okay. Now, since natapos na natin yung OS natin, yung mapiling system, installation, we have to install now the drivers, okay. So, what are those drivers? So, let me show you this, uh, which drivers we have to uh, install, okay. Click this, man, uh, right click the mouse in this computer icon, manage. And then it will show you the the options. Okay, so I'm going to show you which drivers we have and we need to install. Okay, device driver. So see this. Ito guy, yung mga naka yellow. This Ethernet controller, controller, PCI, SMB bus, universal, this USB. Ito yung sa internet. Okay, LAN. Para maka-access tayo sa internet, we have to install this driver, okay? So, click natin yung device display adapters niya. Yan, okay. Yan yung kanyang graphics, graphic card, okay? Ngayon, uh, since hindi pa natin na-install na yung kanyang uh, proper 
driver, naka-standard lang siya. Standard VGA. So, ba, paano natin malalaman yung bakit naka-standard? So, hindi, hindi yung uh, uh, proper graphic card niya ang naka-install. Papapansin nyo guys, no, itong font ng ano is mataas siya. Malaki yung font. And then, uh, I'm gonna show you this screen resolution as well. Okay, yan. Okay, now nakano siya sa 80 by 60 resolution niya. So, assuming we we choose this one, this resolution, then we apply. And then okay. Okay, mapapansin mo guys, hindi hindi ganun kapulido yung kanyang phone. Okay? Kasi nga, hindi pa yung proper driver niya na video card ang naka-install dito. So, kaya natin guys, kailangan i-install itong mga drivers na to. Ito kasi ito yung mga... Okay guys! Drivers is almost done. Okay? Ayan, 98% na. So, Saglit na lang to, no? But it's show here on um, 18 minutes. Yeah, 18 minutes pa. Pero saglit na lang to. Hindi naman siguro sa 18 minutes na lang. Okay. Yan, yeah, na-install na yung uh, AMD chipset. Yeah, naka-green na siya. Means installed and say status niya, installed talaga siya. Okay. So still we have 95% for for this Realtek audio driver okay guys after this uh, we're going to restart the machine huh? okay para ma-apply yung uh, installation sa mga drivers okay okay installation is finished so guys we have to reboot this one okay just click okay para mag-reboot para mag-reboot siya okay and then this is not automatic reboot, so we have to close this one. And then, so restart tayo mag -re reboot okay? So, click this one, restart. Click. Alright. Now, let's see kung na-install yung mga drivers na, but 100% na-install niya lahat dyan, okay? Because I have the CD of this uh, motherboard, okay? Yeah, I guess uh, we start this year. Yeah. I'm using MSI motherboard. Yun guys, si check natin no yung sa may uh, device manager niya kung uh, na install nang abat talaga yung mga drivers na kailangan. So kanina nakadilaw siya kung napapansin niyo. Kung napansin niyo kanina is nakadilaw. It means it's not yet uh, installed. Okay? <clears throat> Actually, guys, yung pag itong pag boot, no, uh, it takes like uh, 45 uh, seconds. And sometimes it takes one minute. <laughs> Depende sa, sa ating ano specs okay now it's installing you know, the hard disk okay it shows here you may restart your computer to apply these changes okay so we have to restart it now click this one and then again it will shut down okay so guys ganun lang no yung pag uh, reformat ng inyong system either a laptop or desktop ang inyong ginagamit so ganun lang yung mga procedures so sana na nakuha nyo yung uh, or pwede nyo balikan itong ano to, itong video na to kung may mga na miss kayo okay <coughs> pwede nyo siyang panoorin uli para mag guide kayo ng maayos okay guys yan gusto na siya Starting windows. <coughs> guys, ah, 
So makikita natin na yung difference nung ano nung ating mga image yung mga icon pinong pino siya no ayan yung resolution niya yung gumanda na and uh, we will check this computer right click manage check natin yung device manager niya kung ano na install na ba yung mga drivers okay dapat walang maging wala dapat ano doon na magkukulay yellow so device manager okay done so walang naka yellow so it means lahat na installed okay so in